certified most accurate. Now your TV5 first alert forecast. Well, happy Friday, Mid-Michigan. Let's take a look at our temperatures that we're starting out with uh, for your afternoon. For most of us, we're in the 40s, but we do have a few areas that are able to make it uh, to near 50 degrees. That's Owasso, Flint, and Lapeer, either at or very close to 50, as is Carroll as well. Now, as we go throughout the rest of our day, we should mostly be looking at these temperatures that we have right now, warming just a little bit for areas south of the bay. North of the bay, likely stuck in the middle 40s. We're also going to be looking at the cloud cover very much like this, where we have a little bit of blue sky and a little bit of sunshine and also a little bit of clouds. So so it's going to be a mix back and forth likely for the rest of our day. Now, as we go into the overnight hours, we actually decrease that cloud cover just a little bit, just enough to remove that blanket away, cooling us down as we go into early Saturday morning. So temperatures able to get pretty chilly. This is what it looks like here on the hour by hour. This area of cloud cover moving through this afternoon moves out just in time as we go into the overnight hours, and that's going to allow temperatures to cool down to near or just below freezing for a couple of hours to start out your Saturday. We will be able to warm up, though, as we go into the afternoons. Uh, remember, dark gray means we're looking at clear skies here, so some sunshine for a decent majority of Saturday, though again, still back and forth between the clouds and sun. Temperatures near the middle 40s there for us. As we go into Sunday night, very similar story where we have just enough clear skies to allow temperatures to fall down to just a near or just below freezing for a couple of hours going into your Sunday morning. But again, just like Saturday, we're right back into a mix between clouds and sun as we go throughout Sunday with temperatures back into the middle and possibly upper 40s. But then looking ahead, we're not too bad after that going through the rest of the seven day forecast. So this dry weather means we've got great conditions for any uh, yard work. If you've got leaves that you want to get off the lawn, uh, we've got a great few days and even going into next week as well. Today we've got a little bit of that wind still and the ground is still drying out from the rain that we've had. But Saturday and then Sunday and especially going into next week, we're drying out and we've got light winds and it does warm up a little bit as we go into next week as well. Proving uh, to, to, to be a really nice weather for anything that you need to get done outside. Maybe you're putting up Christmas decorations decorations, taking down Halloween de decorations or uh, getting those leaves off the lawn. Looking pretty good next week with only a couple chances of rain with the best being Thursday evening as uh, temperatures warming up near 60 with that uh, best chance for rain being only 20% as we go into the evening and overnight hours. Stay with WNEM TV5 on air, on the go and online for more news and weather updates.